Hello there and welcome to Old Man Gaming and Kerbal Space Program Realism Overhaul. Now if you've been following my live streams you'll know that I am new to the Realism Overhaul mod and I'm learning as I go. Now the purpose of this series is to take what I've learned and to do short tutorials on how to complete the various missions found in the Realism Overhaul mod. I hope you find them instructive. Please feel free to join me in my live streams and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Hello there and welcome back to Old Man Gaming UK. And here we are back in Kerbal Space Program for episode 3 of our mission walkthrough series. It is the 26th of November 1951. And if we just have a quick look at our research and development we can see that we have uh, quite a few being researched. We've unlocked post-war rocketry testing and post-war material science research and those has finished. Um, we are probably just up to early tracking now. So if you are playing along with me, that is where I'm up to. We're looking at probably researching early tracking at this stage. Uh, if we have a look, yep, early tracking, we've got about 27 days left on on early tracking. We have a point available to me and we have 84,000 in funds. So we can purchase one, two, three, four. So we have five points available. So we'll put three into VAB. And then we'll put another two into research and development. Okay. Right. Mission control. So today we're going to be doing the low space biological experiment, uh, which is to reach 100 kilometers with 35 units of sounding payload. Uh, we need to recover part of the vessel uh, so it must have uh, it must land on the earth so it can't just explode in space it must come back to the earth at least the uh, the avionics need to return to the earth I believe right so let's just uh, accept that and then the rest of these ones will disappear apart from the X plane We're going to our vehicle assembly building. Okay, so here we are in the vehicle assembly building. For those of you who've been following along, you can just open up your SR2. Uh, if you haven't been following along, then what we can do is we can quickly just have a look at how this is, is made up. So starting with a aerobi sounding rocket telemetry units which you'll find here uh, underneath that we have the aerobi rim 8290 recovery parachute pack which you find down here and above it we have the biological sample capsule which we can find here Inside the Aerobi sounding rocket tree telemetry unit, we've also placed a thermometer and a barometer. You just put them on the side and then use the move keys to push them into the center and they'll be inside. Our tank is high pressured aluminium tank with a current length of 14,000, well, 1 1.4 meters. And our bottom tank is also 1.4 meters aluminum high pressure tank a smooth cone peak one with a diameter of 400 at the top and then 300 at the bottom and the diameter of this one is 400 on the bottom and zero at the top we are using the Arobi engine which has been upgraded from the WAC Corporal so we've got Originally, when you open the aerobi engine, you'll have a WAC Corporal 
version, but once you you can basically upgrade it once you unlock uh, basic rocketry, I believe it was, or well, post-war rocketry, you can then upload it, upgrade this particular rocket to the uh, to this version, the A A X A S R one version. Okay, and then underneath that we've got two tiny tin boosters and a small launch clamp. Uh, our fins, uh, 0.25 strength, we, I call this the uh, heavy fin, and if we just hover over it, you can see the dimensions of those fins there. And then we have the uh, decoupler underneath that, which you'll find here is just a procedural decoupler length of 100 uh, millimeters uh, bottom and top I've done top 200 and bottom 300 and then we have another set of fins underneath these are what I call my light fins and they are strength of 0.2 and oh, that's the wrong button and then there are the the details that I've put on there for those ones and underneath that again with a strength of 0.15 on the bottom put strength 0.15 on the bottom then 0.2 there and then 0.25 on these ones here. So that's what we use for the SR2. Okay, but we are going to be slightly modifying this. First off, we don't need uh, both tiny tin boosters. So we just need to put one tiny tin booster on there and our tanks, we can leave at 1,000, uh, sorry, 1 1.4 meters at 14,000 uh, millimeters. Uh, 1.4 meters there, 1.4 meters on the top there. And we want to add 35 units of payload now to do that if we just remove all tanks on the top rocket and then go into the tank user face scroll down to the bottom here and add 35 units of sounding payload update that we can then remove the tank interface and we just then add the fuel on top of that so this tank now has a mixture of fuel and the sounding payload and if we just check our contract just to make sure yep 35 units includes a small biological experiment on the craft must reach an altitude of 100 kilometers and return home safely let's go back and I'm just going to grab this and move it down. There, like that. Okay. Okay, so that should be everything that we need to actually complete the contract. Uh, so we want to just make sure that we've done all of our tooling. That's all done. Yep, okay, all tooling is done. It's the same dimensions as the rocket before, so it should be fine tooling wise. Uh, we then just go and press launch, which will add it to the build list. SR2, take 42 days to build. And if we just come out of our VAB, well, actually, let's make sure we uh, call this SR3. have the caps lock on SR3 and I'm going to enter my description so in my description I'm just going to put what mission we're planning on doing with it 
which is the biological experimentation just in case we need to refer to it in the future and we are looking at trying to do what's it 100 kilometers with 35 units sounding payload okay and actually let's uh let's just take a pause and Let's just do some uh, colouring in. Just to make it look nice. Go into the uh, open recording to UI. I've already preset this, so on that one anyway. fin as well so just gonna put green 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 uh, leading edge low color green 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 and our trailing edge this will be the one that we want to change so we're gonna put 208 212.85 and that's just coloured my rocket there the uh, channel colours you know obviously have to do that you can do whatever you want so Let's go leave here. We'll probably find that the rocket that we've uh, built is uncolored, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Next rocket, we'll, we can have those colors. All right, so we want to go vessels. We've got to recondition the launch pad first. And we've got the warp to SR2. Looks like we just must have just finished actually uh, our next science research there. All right, we're gonna roll out. Okay, it's now the 8th of January 1952. And we'll go to our, well, this says SR2. This should read SR3. Probably because we forgot to rename it. It, it doesn't matter, but uh, we renamed it SR3 after the build. Okay, and here we are on the launch pad, but uh, unfortunately our, our rocket didn't get painted. But let's get our science started. Make sure our contract requirements are being met, which they are. We just need to reach 100 kilometers and return safely to Earth. Throttle up the engine. And three, two, one. We go. And we'll just let this play in real time. You're not in any hurry to go anywhere. If you were, you wouldn't be here watching me. So our apoapsis is counting up there in the top, up to 45. Just has to reach past 100. There we 
go 106. Should be cutting it close. We'll just have to wait and see. You have to really time those boosters to make sure that you you get above 100. If you if you stage a little too early, you may not make it. You may not get the full distance. So we can't decouple the parachute until after we reach 100 kilometers. We need all of these to be ticked off. Sorry, I'm. St Once these are all ticked, we can then decouple the parachute. There we go, we've now passed 200, so we can decouple the parachute. And once the parachute is on its way down, now I don't know if this is a, a bug, the parachute arms, but then it start, it disarms when you start falling, so you have to rearm it, unfortunately. So let's uh, speed that up. Now the parachute should open at 5,000 meters and then should fully deploy at 1,000 meters. Now the, uh, basically the arrowhead should come down and Gently stick into the earth, no, <laughs> fall over into a flip. But that's it, we've completed the mission. Very easy, not much modifications needed to the rocket that we used in the previous mission. We can just now recover the vessel to a normal recovery. And we now have 33 science to spend in total. And click done, we've got 44,000 in funds. And that's it, we're all done. So until next time, have a good one, and I will say bye for now. Bye bye.